Hey people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So, I wanted to share with you something that I consume whilst doing extended fasting when I'm consuming water, so what you would call a water fast, or I'm doing intermittent water fasting, and that is snake juice. And this is the newest snake juice formula. It's been around for quite a while. There is the old formula. Some people say they prefer the old one. Some people, they prefer the newer one. So, I'm going to tell you exactly how to make this and why it's a good idea to consume this rather than just plain water. So, the things that you need to make the snake juice is around two litres of water. I personally use distilled water. I recommend not using tap water whatsoever. You don't need to use distilled water, but distilled water is free of all impurities. If you're interested in making it at your own home, in the comfort of your own home, I'll put a link down below for water distillers for UK and US supplies, etc. One of the highest quality countertop ones to your door. Then you need some baking soda. I would recommend getting Bob Red Mills baking soda, not because it's aluminium free, because all baking soda is aluminium free, unlike a lot of people out there that are trying to sell you a higher priced baking soda. And them saying that pretty much all baking soda contains aluminium, that's an absolute myth. But a lot of the baking sodas out there, unlike this one, is chemically extracted. So then you're getting those chemicals go within it and then in your body, but this is completely water extracted. So it's a really pure source of baking soda. And when I've compared it to like these chemically extracted ones, they don't taste that good, but this one actually has a sweet taste to it, which is naturally found within it. If it hasn't got any carbohydrates in it, don't be concerned about that at all. You also want some magnesium chloride. I have this Thai brand. You want to make sure that it is food grade. Otherwise, it could have impurities in it that are not good for you. And then we also have the unrefined sea salt. I'm using this brand that I got from Malaysia when I traveled there, it's in a glass jar. Don't use any refined sea salt whatsoever. And I'm gonna put links down below for all of the best suppliers for these types of things that you need to add to this. So there'll be links down below for UK, US and worldwide suppliers. And with me, I'm always trying to make the cleanest snake juice recipe. So I don't use no salt whatsoever because it contains things such as silicon dioxide and other things that I don't want in my body whatsoever. So I use food grade pure potassium chloride powder, which there'll be links of that down below as well. So get your container, fill it up with two liters of water. I would recommend not put it in plastic if possible, keep it in glass like I have, because guess what? The salt will leach out the plastics from the bottle. Even if it's BPA free, it has a lot of other toxic plastic substances contained within it. And this recipe is very, very simple. And I'm gonna tell you later in the video some modifications that I make to this, just a slight minor modification, because I found from my own personal experience, make this modification that actually makes you feel better from the snake juice. So, you want one flat half a teaspoon of sea salt. This is Carl Robinson's formula. So you put that in the water, like so. And with the baking soda, you want one flat teaspoon. The baking soda really, really helps just to alkalize. So if you're someone who's just come off quite an intense dry fast and then you are refeeding with snake juice, you break it with it, and you've got some lower kidney pain, or even if you're just doing a standard water fast with standard water, this can get rid of any kidney pain that could be in the lower back, or should I not even say necessarily pain, but just aching, which can happen to some people due to the acidity of the urine, just becoming yeah, very acidic, and this will help buffer that. And with the magnesium, this is optional, but I find if I don't add this to it, I don't feel as good. It's good to get a good balance between the sodium, potassium, and the magnesium. So, with this one, you want half a flat teaspoon, so boom, that's in there. Very, very easy to make this, and this is so low in cost, so anyone can pretty much afford to do this, you don't have any excuses. And with the potassium, you want 
one four teaspoon. And again, make sure it's a flat teaspoon. And mine's got some big lumps in there that need breaking up, but that's okay. It's a little bit over one, that's fine. And in case anyone concerned, this might give you too much potassium in comparison to no salt. The amount of potassium that you get isn't that much more when you get potassium chloride in comparison to no salt. It's absolutely fine. So that is the recipe. And then what you want to do is stir it. I keep a glass straw in my pot of snake juice all day long. And if you've got some lumps like I have, you can just break them up. That's absolutely fine. When you let it sit there for a while, it will start to break down a lot more easily. And that is it. It's really that simple. But for me, I have found from my own experimentation that actually having one four teaspoon of salt works better for me. So instead of Carl's recommendation of half teaspoon, I actually use a whole teaspoon and I find that it makes it taste way nicer. And I'll tell you something, when this is cold, it tastes like high quality dairy milk, like cow's milk to me. And when it's room temperature, it tastes like coconut water. It's really surreal, it might not be for you, but it tastes really good. A lot of people think it tastes really bad, but it doesn't whatsoever. And yeah, this is just the best thing to consume when doing a water fast. Never do a plain water fast. It can really flow out your electrolyte balance and it will do so. And then you can start to feel really bad and it can be dangerous for you. But if you drink the snake juice, it's not gonna be dangerous for you whatsoever. And it's the perfect thing to break a hard dry fast with because yeah, you can end up with some electrolyte balances, nowhere near as bad as on a water fast. But you really want to replenish especially potassium, the magnesium and the sodium. And if you're going to do a water fast with this, you're going to find it's way easier to do for longer periods of time than on plain water because you're getting all of these different electrolytes that are added to the water. You're going to have more energy, your mind's going to work better, you find you're going to be able to just participate in life way easier, you're not going to feel very, very weak and so on. So yeah, it's just a really, really good idea to do. And I am in fast every single day. And when I'm in intermittent for water fasting, I always consume this. I just find I feel way better throughout my whole intermittent fasting window. And I just love this stuff. I pretty much never drink any plain water unless I don't have access to snake juice at the time. And if you consume this within a day, you can consume the whole two liters. Aim for around two liters a day. If you feel that you want more, then consume more. But if you start to consume quite a bit and you start to get some diarrhea, then back off, wait until the diarrhea goes and then come back to it. That's just a sign that your body's got way too much of these electrolytes and it's just not absorbing them and kicking out the excess. So that's it from me and this video. Give it a try and see how you feel with it. I just would not, not consume this at all whilst in a fasted state. I used to be playing water fasting and man, it's just not as good as a snake juice fasting when using snake juice. So that's it from me and this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And if you're new to this channel, I have made a lot of different videos on intermittent fasting, dry fasting, extended fasting, and many other things to do with weight loss and optimizing your health, which you can find those videos on my channel by easily just searching up on my YouTube channel for those types of videos. And also, I am doing a lot of things to expose the vegan movement. So I used to eat a vegan diet for around six years and I gave up around 40 days ago and oh my God, going back to animal foods has just helped me feel the best that I've ever felt in my life. So you can expect a lot of videos from me on that topic as well. So as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Try and be as healthy as possible. Make the most out of your life and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.